to share my screen. Let's see. And if you all could just let me know if you see my presentation, that would be wonderful. And we can see it. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. All right, well, welcome everyone. Uh, and thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm really excited to talk to you all more um, about UNC Charlotte and some of the things that makes us unique as a university. Um, our goal today is just to highlight all of the great resources and amenities that are available to you all as prospective students um, and family members that will come to campus soon. Um, so what we like to do in the beginning is talk more about who we are as a university. And um, so at UNC Charlotte, we do have the Carnegie uh, designation of being North Carolina's Urban Research University. And what that means is that it allows our students to engage in graduate level research during their undergraduate experience with us. Uh, so no matter your major, if you're interested in exploring a particular topic or field more in depth, um, we are able to connect you with faculty members who have experience um, in that research background. In addition, we are known as the state's fastest growing university. Uh, so in the past seven years, we've built 22 new buildings on campus and we sit on a thousand acre campus and utilize about 500 of those, um, which really shows that the university constantly has plans of expanding, um, but with our students in mind. Uh, we just recently opened our new student recreation center that that's 148,000 square feet of workout space. There's cooking demonstration kitchens, an indoor and outdoor pool. Um, we're also set to open a new $90 million science building uh, next spring. Uh, so a lot of great things that are happening on campus. Um, again, with our students in mind, uh, we wanna make sure that students have that uh, modern experience on our campus. Um, so I highly encourage, if you haven't already, to check out our virtual campus tour on our website. Now, one of uh, another unique thing about uh, UNC Charlotte is being so close to the city um, in itself. Uh, so we are located in North Carolina's uh, largest city, the city of Charlotte, um, and also we do have a great connection to the um, to the city of Charlotte at large. Uh, so one of the cool things about us is that we do um, have our own train that comes to our campus called the Light Rail. Uh, so this is essentially an above ground subway system that allows our students uh, to connect with internships and big businesses that are located in Uptown. So in Charlotte, we call our downtown Uptown because it sits up on a hill in the city. Uh, so it's great for our students to really um, learn more and get exposed to those businesses that you'll be going into upon graduation. Um, we are also in the city of Charlotte, the largest, uh, the second largest uh, banking center uh, in the United States. Uh, so we have eight Fortune 500 companies who have headquarters with us in the city and about 300 that have a presence um, that really allows our students who are in, interested in STEM fields uh, to be connected to the greater city of Charlotte at large. And we are number three in the nation for a STEM job growth. So something that our students love to have that connection with. Now, in addition, um, I talked all about our students. I think that's the most important piece of a university is who the students are um, on campus. So at UNC Charlotte, we are the second largest public institution in the state of North Carolina, uh, with just over 30,000 students who are represented on our campus. Um, the great thing uh, about UNC Charlotte is just the diversity that is present on our campus. Um, so our student body represent over 87 countries and 49 states uh, within the United States. Um, and about 40% of our students identify as coming from an under represented population. Uh, so whether that's low income, rural, first generation, they're the first in their families uh, to obtain a four-year degree or a host of multicultural backgrounds. Uh, it's a wonderful way for our students to not only learn from their professors, uh, but also from their peers because they do bring that diverse perspective to the campus as a whole. Now, in addition to um, the diversity that's represented on our campus, um, as well as the connection to the city of Charlotte, um, I'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the academic portion um, and academic excellence that's located on our campus. So at UNC Charlotte, we have 171 undergraduate majors that our students are able to choose from. And we divide those up into groupings called academic colleges. Um, now for our academic colleges, um, just to name the seven that we have, we have our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, our College, our Cato College of Education, our College of Health and Human Sciences. 
Services, our College of Computing and Informatics, uh, College of Business, as well as our College of Engineering. Uh, so for those who are specifically interested in any of our STEM um, education majors, our College of Computing and Informatics is a pretty popular um, academic college for our students to select a major from. Um, the great thing is that we have offerings both uh, Bachelors of Science and Bachelors of Arts in the computer science field. Um, and we are one of six colleges uh, in the nation that has specifically separated computer science out from engineering, just so students can have their own um, access to their faculty members, um, as well as a small um, and close-knit intimate lab setting. So if you're interested in AI, artificial intelligence, robotics, gaming, and design, um, we do have all of those pathways that are offered for you. Uh, in addition, it's important for students to note that College is very much a transition in every sense of the word. Uh, so we do wanna make sure that you all are supported both academically and socially uh, during your time with us. Uh, so if you, at any point in time, if you need help writing a paper um, or, if you, or if you want more social support on campus, uh, we do offer different um, academic resources and offices on our campus, such as our Office of Academic Diversity and Inclusion, um, as well as our University Career Center, um, who will help you uh, guide you who will help guide you along the way um, to getting the resources that you need. Now, to talk about innovation and entrepreneurship, um, UNC Charlotte is definitely a pioneering institution in every sense of the word. Um, so we, this year, actually received a record-breaking amount of research dollars um, for our students to engage in research experience. Um, so there's many opportunities in research uh, within the city of Charlotte, as well as abroad, that our students can take up. Um, so including our state-of-the-art labs um, and research facilities such as EPIC and Portal, uh, for those who are interested in engineering, uh, we do have a really cool program called VenturePrize um, that provides resources and expertise uh, for both the university and community-based startups and businesses. Uh, so if you all are ever interested at any point in time in learning more um, about incubating your own business, um, we do have those centers available for students on campus. In addition, uh, we rank top five nationally uh, for the number of startups startups per $1 million of funding um, that we had for students. So again, um, being a campus of innovation allows our students to feel comfortable and confident um, in going into uh, these different uh, ventures and businesses upon graduation. Uh, so we do want to make sure that you're set up for success um, when it comes to the academic piece, but as well as the experiential education component uh, for students. Now, I do encourage at any point in time uh, for all students who have additional questions to connect with us. Uh, we really emphasize the importance and need of supporting our students and families throughout the admissions process. Um, so for those who are interested in learning more, I do encourage you uh, to look into our chat room option to ask any specific questions that you might have about the admissions process. Um, like all public North Carolina schools and universities, uh, for the 2021 application for students, we are waiving the SAT and ACT requirement. Uh, so you are not required to submit your SAT to your ACT scores. Uh, but if you're interested um, in learning more about the admissions process, I can tell you, uh, in order to have a competitive application at UNC Charlotte, um, we do encourage students to fall within our middle 50% ranges, uh, which is a 3.7 to 4.3 weighted GPA, or a 3.3 to 3.8 unweighted GPA. Um, now, I say don't let these numbers scare you, uh, because we do admit students that fall 25% above and below these averages. Uh, but this will give you, again, a great indication of what a competitive application looks like uh, for UNC Charlotte. If at any point in time you are interested in any of our competitive majors, such as business, nursing, computer science, or engineering, you do want to strive to be somewhere um, on the mid to upper ends of those middle 50% ranges uh, or of that GPA that I um, just mentioned. So again, uh, please feel free at any point in time to connect with us. Um, our office is here to support you um, and make sure to really ease that transition from high school to college for you. Uh, we do have a host of live information sessions as well as student-led virtual campus tours. That is a great way to get to know the campus a little bit more um, in depth. And that is actually the end of my presentation. Um, I do want to thank our UNC system um, panelists uh, and hosts for allowing us to come today um, and talk more about the university. So thank you. Thank you, Kimberly. Um, if you have any additional questions, you can find the contact information for each university who presented tonight.